Hello everybody. In this video I would like to show how to take pretty pictures of the moon with the app Deep Sky Camera for Android and a smartphone. My name is Michael Seeberger Weichselbaum. I'm the developer of the app Deep Sky Camera. And here we have the preview of the moon. The smartphone is attached to a telescope. It's a six centimeter refractor from Takahashi and a 6.7 millimeter eyepiece from Explore Scientific. As you can see, the moon is totally overexposed and that's not what we want. We want a pretty picture of the moon. So first thing you should do is to adjust the exposure time here with the slider on the left. As you can see, moving down, 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 down. And yeah, here is, yeah, that's a better view, but that's not a good way. Starting with update 131, I've added a new function to the app where you can change the time range of the slider. By default, the time range of the slider is between zero or seconds on the bottom and one second at the top. And with the new update, you can change the time range. So let's do it. Uh, let's go to the app menu here, tap on the three dots upper right, then go to settings. And on the settings page, please tap on the second entry preview exposure time. It's set to manual by default. And, and as you can see, um, the default time range is between zero seconds and one second. You can choose between one of these options. This is a pretty nice one for moon between zero and one one hundred second, which means that uh, max exposure time for the preview is one one hundred seconds at the slider at the top of the slider. So let's go back. Let's go back. And it looks much more better now. So it's easier for you to set the exposure time of the preview by moving the slider. It's very smooth. And I think this one is a good thing. Uh, okay, we leave it as it is. Before we take our first test shot, um, I'm focusing a little bit, I refocus, I'm moving the focus of the telescope. I do not focus here with the slider on the right. I'm focusing only with the focus of the telescope. As you can see here, oh yeah, too much. I go back, back. Yes, I think that's it. Okay, I move the moon a little bit more to the center. Okay, that's it. Okay, we take our first test shot. Uh, I change the format down to JPEG. It's only for the test. So next thing, we should set the exposure time. Don't do it on your own. Don't choose one nine hundred second. Don't do that. Don't do that because this one is also not really nice. Don't do that because there's a good new function in update 131. Please choose the second entry here. When you switch to preview for the exposure time of the image you're about to take, um, means that the exposure time is synchronized with the exposure time of the preview. So the exposure time you've choose, you've set here is the exposure time of the pictures you want to take. So yes, okay. ISO remains 100, that's pretty good. Interval time, five seconds. And uh, we want to take only one test shot. And uh, the moon looks a little bit um, green, so I adjust the white balance, so much more better. 
it appears a little bit green because of some high flying clouds maybe so you can change the white balance and it looks like more yeah let me say black and white okay so we are ready and let's start our test shot okay here we are ready and you can see an icon right to the shutter button um, please click on the icon and here you see a picture of the moon ah yeah looks nice i think we can start our session right now and i switch to raw you can take pictures in raw plus jpeg means uh, you have two files for every image in raw and in jpeg to save a little bit space on your internal memory you can switch to raw and now let's take here oops 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 hello so now we have 100 pictures we want to take we don't need to focus again and here we go so the session starts and i'm interrupting the recording of the session of the video a little bit so let's see in a couple of minutes again so here i'm back again the session is yeah ready in a couple of seconds let's wait a couple of seconds and then we check our pictures okay here we are ready and let's check the pictures i tap on one of the pictures in the list and yeah it looks pretty nice okay these are nice pictures and next step is to process the pictures we must do it with separate software pro version of the app will do it later but currently we need separate software we need programs like pip or auto stuckert or regi stacks and photoshop or other image processing software but this will be shown in a separate video thank you for watching and see if you have questions um, please visit our facebook group or check our hashtag on instagram or our youtube channel